Can I tell you the weather forecast in here? <laughs> I probably don't need to, you know it's cold. Um, we normally try to turn off the AC after the, the worship time. Um, hopefully it will start to warm up in a little bit for you. We apologize if you've come not prepared knowing that um, it's like a frigid zone. <laughs> it actually seems to be warmer outside than it is inside here. Well, good morning and welcome, and thank you so much um, for being part of the 10th anniversary celebration service for Grace Bible Church, Maui, Wailuku Extension, otherwise known as WEX, W-E-X. More often you'll, you'll hear and the, the name WEX than the Grace Bible Church Maui Wailuku Extension because it's just a lot easier to say WEX. <laughs> you know, several years um, before WEX came to be, on the hearts of um, Pastor Eddie and Susan Asato, they had a desire to want to see other churches established here in Maui, and it was for the purpose of being able to reach people's lives for the kingdom of God. And you know, um, after a lot of prayer and fasting and just waiting on God, and when the timing was right, Pastor Lance and Tideen Sokugawa, they were available to pastor a church here in Wailuku. So after much planning and preparation, the first service for the Wailuku Extension, WEX, occurred in April of 2007. And it was, the first service was right here, although, you know, we haven't always been here, you know, during the entire time. There was a brief time that we had to go to um, Baldwin High School for a little bit, but we were very fortunate and have been very um, appreciative of the Department of Education and the Yao School staff to be able to use this facility. Um, I know that for Tadeen, one of her desires was she wanted a facility that was air conditioned. And so um, God granted her a desire of her heart, maybe too much air conditioning, yeah, sometimes, yeah? You know, if you do the math, um, we've been here from um, April of 2007. We're actually nearing 11 years. Um, but we're celebrating our 10th year um, celebration during this um, period between 10 and 11. You know, when WEX began in April of 2007, there were about 50 members from the Kahului Church that um, had made a commitment to partner and team up with Pastor Lance and Tadeen um, to be part of the starting up of um, the Wailuku Extension Church. And, you know, this morning, we want to acknowledge those of you who were here from the beginning when WEX began. And if you're here, um, please stand. Um, if you are here and part of the church from the very beginning, we want to be able to recognize you and acknowledge you. Don't be shy. Please stand. For those of you who are part of Wailuku Extension Church from the very beginning. And keep standing, okay? Because I want you to take a look at them. Um, you know, it, the, the 50 or so people that came up with Pastor Lance and Tideen was a mixed group, you know, of different ages. And, um, for example, some of the seniors that you see standing, you know, um, after 10 years, they become super seniors. Yeah. <laughs> and some of the, some of the, um, the young people... You know, um, they've grown up, you know, and so it's, it's amazing, you know, um, you know, after 10 years, you know, the changes that can take place. So again, thank you so much for those of you who are part of the church since the very beginning. And, you know, in appreciation um, of your commitment and partnering with Pastor Lance and Tadeen with the start of the church back in April of 2007, um, there's a special gift for you, and we want to invite you to see 
to Dean after the service to receive um, a special gift. And again, that's for those of you who are part of the church from the very beginning. Okay, in a moment, you know, the children have a special performance that they're going to be um, uh, performing for us. Um, but before that, we're going to be receiving our tithes and offerings. And as you know, tithes and offerings is something that is taught in the scriptures. It's our way of giving back to the Lord, um, just in a small way, you know, and how he has blessed us in so many, many different ways. Um, before the ushers come around to receive your tithes and offerings, we're going to just say a short prayer. So will you bow, bow your heads and join me in a short word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the existence of this Wailuku Extension Church here in Maui. Um, we thank you for the use of this facility and how um, just the existence of this church, Lord, is touching lives for the kingdom of God. We thank you for the tithes and the offerings, Lord, that are going to be coming in today and come in each week, Lord. We pray that you give wisdom to the leadership of our church to be able to use the monies wisely for the furtherance of your kingdom, not only here on Maui, but also the nations, Lord, that we have opportunity to impact as well. We continue to lift up all of our government leaders, Lord, both on the national, state, and county level. Pray that you give them the wisdom that they need to lead and guide our country, and that our country would indeed be a godly nation, and that we give glory and honor to you. We just commit the remainder of the service that we have in store for us this day. Thank you again for the celebration of 10 years of existence and the use of this facility. And we give you thanks for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, please welcome the children as they have a special performance for us.
We really appreciate the children's ministry in the life of our um, church here and all the different ones like Joy, Julie, Jamie, and the others that um, have been involved over the years um, in faithfully serving the Lord and being able to minister to the children. You never know. You know, what's being developed, you know, in the lives of the, the children at a very young age. You know, there are probably the seeds of, of being of an apostle, a prophet, a teacher, a pastor, and even an evangelist that might be um, growing in the lives of some of the children. And so to, for them to have an opportunity to be able to learn about the Lord and to be able to um, be influenced and grow up in the life of a church, you know, like this. Um, there's untold stories ahead of what's up ahead, you know, for them. So again, thank you again um, for those of you who have been involved over the years in uh, ministering to the children and just the impact that it's having upon their lives. This morning, um, we want to acknowledge some special guests that are here with us. Um, first of all, we want to acknowledge um, Sharina Husted and her husband, um, Ryan. Sharina, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there's Ryan. Yeah. You can't miss him. He's like 10 feet tall, you know. <laughs> Sharina is the uh, executive director of um, Grace Bible Church, Maui. You know that she's um, the daughter of uh, Pastor Eddie and... Susan Asato. Did you want to say anything? No, okay, she's really shy. <laughs> okay, uh, that's okay. She makes up for it, for it at meetings and other kinds of things. From <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I'm not on the payroll. I might be fired. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, it's a privilege to be able to um, welcome... Um, and to acknowledge um, Pastor Eddie and Susan Asato, they are the founding pastors of Grace Bible Church, Maui. They also um, launched the Wailuku Extension Church, and we want to be able to just acknowledge them and welcome them. And um, in talking to Susan this morning, I don't think she's going to be sharing, you know, otherwise we'd be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, you know, I commented to Susan that, you know, whenever she shares, I, I always get blessed and I feel really um, um, taught, you know, when she shares, you know, things because she shares from the heart. Um, but she's not going to be sharing this morning, but um, Pastor Eddie is going to be sharing. But we just want to acknowledge them. Can you give them a round of applause and just amazing people, been a godly influence upon my life and we just want to welcome them. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Well, congratulations, everybody. This is a great uh, time. I, yesterday, I looked at Susan. I said, got anything to say? And she said, no. And I was thinking in my mind, liar. <laughs> 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 you know, the, gener the, the, the years go by so fast. If I let her come up here, she'll take the whole time. <clears throat> so I'm not... <laughs> now she says she's got something to say. <laughs> Um, you know, t how many realize time goes by so fast? You know, I was talking to, uh, who was I talking to outside? I said, oh, our kids are so big now. <laughs> and that's so true. I mean, you just look around, you know. Ten years has passed by, and we're ten years older, and our kids are ten years older. I was just thinking about my uh, Jonathan's kids, well, Alexis. She's, how old are you, 15, 14, 15? So um, I was thinking in 20 years, she's going to be 35 years old. That's, and I'm going to be 90, 90, 90 something. I'm, I'm still going to be alive, Lord willing, <laughs> and still functioning, <laughs> and still playing tennis. <clears throat> um, but time goes by fast. And what we... What we do with our children, what we do with the next generation is so, so vital. So 10 years is just the beginning. And we have a job to get done. 
And God wants to use every single one of us in that job. Um, I just wanted to recognize the Roberts. Can, can you, um, Hurston and Aurora, can you stand? They've been part of our Grace Bible Church and raised their kids in our um, church for years. And one of their children, one of their, uh, it's Vince that's out in, as a missionary and a pastor now in Vietnam with his uh, five kids. Is it five kids? Five. Five kids. And um, God just is using them, you know. So you never know what's going to be happening as you grow, you, your kids grow up and you teach them about the Lord. We, we got to know them in uh, Israel two or three trips ago and found out that they lead. Do you, do you still do tours, tour, tour guiding? And they like taking um, people on hikes all around the world. So if you're interested in hiking, go see them. <clears throat> um, I just want to say that what brought you here uh, to this 10th year of your church's life is what will take you into your future. So it would be good for you to just kind of think about that, you know, what brought you here? And I want to talk about three, just three short things. And if you've got your Bibles, Joshua 1, 5 to 9. How many have uh, your hard copy Bibles with you? How many of you have that? I, I carry it with me, but I'm not using it. <laughs> How many of you have electronic Bibles? Okay. So Joshua 1, 5 to 9. And I want to talk about uh, be strong and of a good courage in God's vision for you, in his word that he wants to place in you, and in his presence. There shall no man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. Aren't you glad? God says, I will not fail you, I will not forsake you, I will be with you. Then he says, this is the Lord speaking to Joshua, be strong and of a good courage. And he's speaking about the vision. You know, do you have a vision for your life? Do you know what God has for you? Uh, for unto this people you shall divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto your fathers to give them. And then he says again, only be thou courageous, strong and very courageous. And this time he says, be courageous and strong in my word. The first is in vision, then he says in my word, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Turn not from it to the right or left, that you may prosper wherever you go. The, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, and you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, you shall have good success. Have I not commanded you this a third time, he says, be strong and of good courage in my presence. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You know what has happened to Wex is because Pastor Lance and Tadine had a, and these are three things I want you to repeat after me, a vision to see. Everybody say a vision to see. A vision to see. Faith to believe, faith to believe, and courage to do. Okay, that's, that's what happened in their lives. And that what, that's what's going to happen in the future too. For your life, your family, where you are in your workplace, you need a vision to see, faith to believe, and courage to do. Vision to see. Verse 6, he says, you shall divide an inheritance for the land. God said to Joshua, look at where you're going and what you need to do. See it, envision it, dream it. And uh, both Pastor Lance and Tadine had a vision of a baby church 10 years ago. And they came with 40, 50 of you. And whether you realize this or not, hundreds, thousands have been influenced over the past thousand, uh, 10 years. And as long as there's an unsafe person in your family, in your neighborhood, in your workplace, we've still got a job to get done. You know, how many of you have family members that are still not part of the kingdom of God? How many of you have that? Yeah, I, I still have a brother that hasn't really, he's closer, but he really hasn't come in yet. And as long as there's an unsafe person, we still have a job to do. Vision to see. Can you see them coming to Christ 
After 10 years, mom, uh, 20 years, praying for my mom and dad. My, my dad didn't want me to get involved in ministry at all. And 20 years later, praying, praying, praying for him. Both mom and dad one day called me on the phone and said, we're going to get baptized in water this Sunday. Gave me a three-day notice, and I let somebody else preach. I don't know who preached. And I hop on a plane over to Honolulu to just see them get baptized. And they served the Lord till they're, when they're, uh, up until their 90s. So the seeing is a first step, being able to look at what God wants to do. And in Pastor Lance and Tadine's heart, they saw this church. You know, it begins in a dream. It begins in your heart. That's the first step. So, but to believe after you envision is the next step. And that's what they had in their hearts. And the scripture says, be strong to believe. Be strong and have faith in your heart. And I, I'm not sure whether you folks realize this or not, but Pastor Lance helped um, two other churches get started as an assistant pastor, as an assistant to help in a church plant in Oahu and then in the Big Island as he was working. And by the way, he's, um, I think he's the only pastor in our Hawaii Grace Bible Every Nation family that's a bivocational pastor. Uh, how many of you know that he gets up 3 o'clock in the morning? How many of you know that? Gets up three o'clock in the morning, so there's lots of you that don't know that. Works on a as a manager of a golf course until about eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, and then does the pastoral work. And not only the pastoral work from twelve to about eight o'clock. You go to, he goes to sleep about eight o'clock at night. <clears throat> so anytime we go out together, we've got to make sure he gets back home by eight, <laughs> because he's got to get up at three o'clock in the morning, you know. <clears throat> and so he takes care of the church takes care of his own personal life and his relationship with Tadeen <laughs> and everything else that he's got to do, you know, is, is done the, in the rest of the time. So, you know, if you've got a full-time job and it's really hard for you to do other things, just realize that you have a larger capacity than you think you have because after his full-time job, he's working with the church. So what God does is place faith in our hearts to believe that what we dream can happen. And that's what happened in both their lives. Don't give up on people that seems unreachable. Do you have people that just seem like it, you can't reach them? Um, one, of the couple, one of the families in our church brought a cousin to three weeks ago. <clears throat> and... The cousin came up to me just before service and said, can I speak to you after church? I said, yeah, sure. So after church, he came up to me, tears in his eyes, 28-year-old young guy with a family. And he said, I'm just going through so much in my marriage and my, on my job. I'm injured. Uh, at 28 years old, I've got a major back problem. I can hardly hold a job. I need help. And uh, then I talked with his cousin who brought him and said, oh, you know, your cousin just told me this. And they looked at me and they said, you know, this was the most unreachable cousin. Wouldn't communicate and talk with us. We've been praying for him. We're not sure how he's responding, but he wants to come to church now. And we sat down together with him and uh, his cousin about a week ago in my office and he accepted Jesus into his life and he said, I want to serve God and follow God. And I think he could have gotten baptized in water right away. I mean, he was just that ready, you know? And this was the unreachable cousin. Anybody have unreachable family members like that? You know, their lives can be reached. You just keep praying and believing and don't give up. Have faith to believe. And after seeing and believing, the next step is, and this is what God said to Joshua, have the courage to do it. And lots of times we think, we dream, we pray, and we're afraid to take that step. And God says to Joshua, be courageous, be courageous, take the step. And 
in spite of the, their full-time careers, you know, both Pastor Lance and Tadine consented to become the pastors of this church 10 years ago. And you're a church today. Your life has been changed. Your family has been affected because of a commitment of this couple that said, yes, we'll do it. And lives are going to be changed because you make commitments to say, yes, I'll serve the Lord. I'll walk with God. Because you've got a network of relationships that uh, none other in this congregation has. What God has done in your life, he'll do in the network of people that you are related to. So keep praying for your unsaved loved ones, neighbors, co-workers. Talk to Jesus about the people you love, and it's going to prepare you to talk to the people you love about Jesus. Did you get that? Talk to Jesus about the people you love, and it'll prepare you to talk with the people you love about Jesus. When you can do what you can, God will do what you can't. Lord, we thank you for this 10th anniversary. Thank you for Pastor Lance and Tadine and the leadership of this church and all that you've done. Thank you for the vision to see, the faith to believe, and the courage to do. And as a result, all of our lives are affected so that we can affect the lives and change the lives of others. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. And everybody said. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. You know, along those lines and what Pastor was sharing, you know, it's their commitment to the Lord many years ago that has produced the fruit, you know, of even this church and our lives, you know, here as well. So we really appreciate um, their commitment that they made to the Lord a long time ago. I've always been appreciative of both Pastor Eddie and, and Susan. I told Susan that I've learned to worship, you know, through her. And I learned to love the Word of God, you know, through Pastor Eddie. So I really appreciate their lives and the impact that they've had upon my life and upon all of your lives as well. You know, about um, three years ago, um, Pastor Eddie um, turned over the leadership, the senior pastorship of uh, Grace Bible Church Maui to uh, Pastor Jonathan. And he has been in charge of the church um, since then. Um, he brings and has brought a whole new approach to reaching people and to be able to minister. Um, I've always appreciated his um, just almost childlike approach, you know, to the Lord and, um, you know, how he loves the Lord and he's so frank and so um, honest. And so we want to welcome him. Um, we really appreciate both him and his wife, Jocelyn, and the commitment that they've made to be able to serve the Lord and to serve the people of Grace Bible Church Maui through their ministry. And we really appreciate him coming up and being able to share this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Uncle Kevin. Um, how many of you have, has God made a difference in your life? Has Jesus made a difference in your life, come into your life and transformed? Raise your hand if, if that's. Can we give God a hand for the past 10 years of his faithfulness and what he's done? Um, you know, one of the things that God does is he never does something just, I mean, a lot of times, a lot of times God does do something just sovereignly, but the vehicle that he uses to do things is through his people, through the church. How many of you have a relationship with Jesus? How many of you have a relationship with God? Um, when you get together, when we all get together like this, this is such an amazing time that we can celebrate 10 years of the faithfulness of God and what he's done really in the life of each person here, that the faithfulness of God and the transformation of our lives is a testament to his goodness. And, and we want to uh, take this time to celebrate. But to do that, I just want to echo what Pastor Eddie said uh, about having vision to see, faith to believe, courage to do. I had my own message, but I'm just gonna tag, jump on that because I have people that I need saved in my life. The first and foremost, my sister, Sharina Asato over there. She's one of the ones that 
a lot of people don't believe there's any hope for, but we're praying and fasting really hard that she'll come to faith in Jesus Christ. So, I'm just joking. She's saved. Um, yeah? You're saved, yeah. Um, but, but what, what I, what I want to kind of uh, dovetail off of, and this will be quick, but I, that, that faith, to, our vision to see, um, this is what it looks like. So uh, could, could our uh, senior, I'm going to call you guys the senior table, um, but the Ishikawas, Otas, uh, Iwamasas, could you guys all stand? Hokamas, could you guys please stand? Please, please, please. I know you guys don't want to, but could you please stand? This is, this, this is the seniors of our church. Please. So 10 years ago, 10 years ago, they were at Kahalui and, and oh, Auntie Gomes, Auntie Sandy, you're, you, but sh, I know, all, all of them don't like to be recognized, but, but they are the pillars and the foundation. And, and, and uh, you, guys can, you guys can go have a, have a sat. Can we just give them a hand really quick? They were, the, they were the, the pillars and the foundation of the church helping to get started. And what was amazing was they could have just sat in Kahalui uh, as they were a little bit older. And like we paid our dues. We'd done everything because they worked around the church property. They did so much to, to, to make the church at Kahalui what it was. But instead of saying, we've done our duty and we're going to rest now, they said, we're going to go plant another church. And so 10 years ago, they came out and they planted and everybody here is a result of that decision. So that is, that's vision right there, to keep going no matter what, uh, no matter how far and how much work we've put in, to always know that God has something more. And so I really want to say that we appreciate you guys, and thank you so much for stepping out. Uh, even after everything that you did to get Kahalui where it was, you had a vision to, to come to Wailuku. So that's super cool. That's, that's a, a vision. I want, I want to... Um, Point out the patals. Patal, uh, Dane, could you stand, please? Okay, so this is Dane, right? And every, how many of you have been impacted by Dane? Or just, 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 just. How many of you have been impacted by, by Dane? So raise your hand. Yeah, okay, cool. See, because Dane and Tammy, they're evangelists, right? There's a gift that God put in their heart. Uh, and what they're faithful to do is just to tell people about church and say, come to church or you're going to get fired. And so all his workers come, right? No, but, but God, I just joke, I just joke you. But he's not a pastor. He's not, he's not a, but he is a pastor in his own right. But he's, he's, he's not Pastor Dane. He's just Dane, right? But he's doing what God's called him to do, which is reach other people. And I don't have time to go through everyone, but thank you, Dane. Can we give Dane a hand? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um, Zach, can you stand up? So Zach, he was just this Kolohe kid at Kamehameha School uh, growing up, and, and he got saved on campus, and he could have done anything with his life, but he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to serve God with my whole life, and I want to reach kids on the campus. So instead of, instead of pursuing the almighty dollar and you know, going that route, he decided, I'm going to give my life and I want to reach young people for Christ. How many of you have been impacted by Zach's life? Okay, Zach, you can, you can sit down. Um, and then Julie, you know, she ministered to our kids. How many of your kids have been ministered to by Julie? And, she, and she's a full-time work. Yeah, let's give her a hand. I don't think she's in here. I think she's in the back with the kids. But, but this church is made up of decisions. Decisions where normal, everyday people that have full-time jobs and, and have a whole bunch of responsibilities say, God, use me to make a difference. And when enough people do that, then this is the result. So could you all give yourselves a hand this, this morning? I want to call Pastor Lance and Tirino. Could you guys come up, please? Just, just, just come up. Yeah, I know. It's not as... And, and, we brought fl- we we're gonna do this big wreath thing, but then you know wreaths look like uh, funeral stuff, and then uh, we we're gonna do a plaque, but then they you know they didn't want a plaque, so um, 
we just are giving them a gift from all of you and from us at Kahalui. Um, and this is something that I'm not going to tell you what's in it. You're going to have to look. But Tirin will really appreciate what's in here. <laughs> and, um, and, and this is the amazing thing about your pastor. He has changed the way that church is defined because everyone calls him Pastor Lance and Pastor T. Do they call you Pastor Tatine? Okay. Okay. So everybody calls him Pastor Lance, right? But ten year, before 10 years ago, this was just Lance. Uncle Lance. Uncle Lance. And there's so much that I respect about Pastor Lance. But before 10 years ago, he was... Just Lance, Uncle Lance. To me, he was Uncle Lance. Um, but he said, I want to be a part of starting a church 10 years ago. And he didn't quit his job. He didn't go to seminary. He didn't do anything differently. He kept going. He's still the manager of a golf course. He's still doing everything that every single one of all of us do here, work a full-time job. But he said, I want to give God my time. I want to give God my energy. And 10 years later, look at the faithfulness of God because of one decision. It was just the decision that he made to say, God, use my time, use my energy, and whatever I can do to serve you. And because of that, we are celebrating 10 years of the faithfulness of God. And, and what he did, and, and, and every church is a, is a duplication of their pastor, their shepherd. And so what he's done is he's shown that anybody can start a church. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but there are people here, right? Like there's Brian, and Brian is just Brian. But 10 years from now, it might be Pastor Brian. There's people here that all, it, all a church plant is, is a decision away from somebody who God puts that on your heart to say, I want to serve the Lord. And, and there's a, a, a scripture in Galatians, and this is uh, Galatians 6, verse 9, and it says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season, everyone say due season, we will reap if we faint not, so do not lose heart. Therefore, everyone say therefore. therefore. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. And so this is, this is the charge that God has for every single one of you, that you have a pastor that stepped out of his comfort zone to start a church. And you don't have to step out of your comfort zone to start a church. But whatever it is that God's called you to do, if he's called you to help with youth, if he's called you to help with kids, if he's called you to evangelize at your workplace, if he's called you to be a foundational pillar in the church to show up and to be faithful and to give, do what God's called you to do so that 10 years from now, you can see the faithfulness of God in the lives of people around you. And this is just a small taste of what heaven will be like. Because for all that you sow into the kingdom of God, for all that you sow into the lives of other people, it will last for an eternity. This is just 10 years, and this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Amen? Amen. But this is a taste of what it's going to be like when we get to heaven. Because when we get to heaven, you personally are going to see every single life that you've impacted for the kingdom of God through the decisions. Everyone say decisions. Decisions the decision that you make. Amen? And so let this be the beginning of the next season that God has for you. Can you guys all stretch your hands to Pastor Lance and Tadine? We're going to pray for them. God, thank you, Lord, so much for the decision that they made 10 years ago to help plant this church. God, we also thank you for all the faithful volunteers, for the faithful ones that came to help start this church. 10 years later, God, thousands of lives that have been impacted, Lord, we We'll only see uh, the entire picture when we get to heaven. But God, we just pray a duplication of the life of Pastor Lance and Tadine in every single heart and life here, Lord, that there would be hundreds and thousands more people reached 
uh, for your kingdom on this island and in our communities. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ten years. Um, well, I'll let my wife speak first. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you, everybody, uh, for your love and your support um, for this church and for Lance and I. And um, we just appreciate all of you, and we love you. Uh, you know, I, we, we never imagined that we would be here, for me, living on Maui, because I'm from Oahu, and my journey would lead me to this place called Maui, into Grace Bible Church. And, um, and there, uh, we were planted in uh, Grace Bible Church, Kanaloe, and 10 years ago, Pastor and Susan had asked us to uh, launch out a church, and... It's been a journey of a lifetime. <laughs> they say that you only live uh, one life. And as I look back and see God's faithfulness, you know, in our life and in each people's lives, that's what brings the joy in my heart, to see people serving the Lord and see God's love and that he'll never leave you. And he loves you with an everlasting love no matter what you do in life, because he loves you. And that has been, um, sometimes when you feel God is so far, he's still with you, no matter where you are. And so our journey that we went through, I just want to say thank you to the Lord, first of all, that he had given us this opportunity and honor to serve the people, serve him and the people in Maui. And I want to thank Pastor and Susan uh, for their love and support. And no matter how the church was when it was down, <laughs> down, and I was depressed, he never got on me. <laughs> you know, so, anyway, when you make mistakes. <laughs> but they've been such a great support to our life and, and example. And um, I just, we just appreciate their, their love for us. So thank you very much for your guidance and support. An example, and to Pastor Jonathan and Jocelyn, they've been great. They've been such a big support and encouragement to our life, and they always had um, positive things. And when they come up here, Pastor Jonathan says, "Wow, the church is really good. The people are really good." And I just appreciate. I know the church is in good hands with him, in great hands with him as he launches out. So thank you for your love and support. Shireen and Ryan from the church, um, she's been one of our biggest supporters uh, up here, unknowingly to you guys, that she really wants to, wanted to help us, but she was so busy at Conway, but she helped us whatever she could. And they've been a great example to us, this family. So I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for you guys' love and support. In our journey of 10 years, uh, we've met so many people, all of you, in this place. And even I got to know uh, Tereen's family, the brothers and sisters and all coming here. And they've been great. You guys have been awesome. And I think when I look back um, at 10 years, it's the relationships of God that is in my heart. And because of, I think Wailuku is a very special family. You guys are really special. And you guys have touched our hearts in more ways than you can think of um, in serving the Lord. And so I just want to say thank you to each one of you. I think you guys should give you guys a hand. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> because of the relationships, and I know the love that's in here is a very special love that's within the Wailuku Ohana. So I just want to say thank you very much for all that you guys do and serve and share, uh, not only within here, but also the four walls beyond this place. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. We love you very much, and um, we appreciate all that you guys have done for the Lord. Amen.
For real, please welcome the Hula team. Thank you so much, Hula team. Sometimes there's more of them, you know, dancing, but this morning only two. Well, as we come to the close of our celebration service today, um, we want to thank you again for being part of it. Um, your presence and your contributions over the years, whether you serve or just attend, has made a difference, you know, in the life of this church. Um, we also want to thank all the different ones who were involved in the setting up and preparing of the, um, the facilities, you know, for the service today. A lot of work. Hope you enjoyed the, um, the different setup um, this morning. You know, the tables, you know, we're really fortunate to be in this facility because 
they don't have the regular, you know, long cafeteria tables that most of the cafeterias have. You know, they have these round tables. And so they're so much more nicer, especially when having an event like this. And just to let you know that it was set up like this because right after we dismiss you, we want to invite you to stick around for um, some great food that has been provided and also some good fellowship. And you're welcome to come back inside here and eat, you know, on these tables. And during that time, um, you know, on the screen over here, there's going to be a continuous play of a DVD that will show a lot of the pictures over the past 10 years of um, Wailuku Extension. So thank you again, you know, for being part of the service today. One final reminder is for those of you, you know, um, as we announced earlier, who were part of the church from the very beginning, um, there is a special gift that we'd like to provide to you, and so be sure to see Tadine after the service, and she'll be happy to provide that gift to you. Okay, I think that pretty much does it. Will you bow your heads, and let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for all that you're doing in the life of the Wailuku Extension Church, Lord. We thank you for the impact that it has had not only on our lives, but on the many other lives, Lord, that sometimes we're not even aware of. We thank you for Pastor Lance and Tadeen and just their love for you and their love for this church and the commitment and the decision, Lord, that was made long time ago for them to serve in this capacity as pastors of, of our church. And we thank you so much for the the um, encouragement and support that they've gotten through Pastor Eddie and Susan and um, from Pastor Jonathan and Jocelyn and uh, Sharina and Ryan and just the rest of the family and team, Lord, that make up the Grace Bible Church um, here on Maui. We commit the time of eating and the time of fellowship into your hands. And at the end of the day, please take us all home safely. And thank you again for the use of this wonderful facility. And we give you thanks for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day.